it off. And it is strafing, kicking it off to Wentgate. Wentgate in the purple. Went goat. I said went gate. Went goat. <laughs> <laughs> First down and 10 for the goat. I'm trying to avoid goat. That's what it is. I'm, I'm trying to avoid goat talk. <laughs> as, as you should. <laughs> Stay away from that. And hey, the school line just got in the building. They did. Got the drums going. I talked to a couple of those guys uh, a few minutes ago, man. They're excited. They're going to get this thing going. And we will see and hear from them after this match. But here we go, the championship match of the Vikings. Championship Madden 18 Vikings championship. First and 10, and it's Went Goat. Off to the left-hand side, Bo Jackson. No, brought down by Anthony Barr and company. One rush, negative two yards there. First play, second down and 12 for the young man, Went Goat from New Brighton, Minnesota, right out here outside of Minneapolis. Check, 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 now, that's not the way you want to start out this final game if you're him. But if you're Ivy Strafen, you're like, okay, I'm locked in. Let's go. Let's get this stop. Let's get on the move. Second down and 12 there for Went Gate. Went Goat. Excuse me. I'm just still trying to avoid the Goat. I'm just going to embrace it now. Went Goat. Back to pass. Watch out, pressure's coming, and he heaves it out of bounds. Good job there by RG3 to throw that thing away. So third down and 12 now for the 18-year-old that was here in the audience last year watching the Madden 17 Vikings Championship. He got a chance up close and personal to watch Ivy Strafing take home that championship. Now he has an opportunity to defeat the defending champion. He's got him across the middle of the field. Does he have right enough juice to get there? And he does, 30, 20. 15, 10, 5, make a house call there for Went Goat. All the way into the end zone, 80 plus yards. What a touchdown throw and catch he quick by the young man. He quick has a great job. The youngster caught Ivy Straven off guard, and just like that, he has jumped up seven to nothing. Man, he lulls you to sleep with those runs, and then he took off there with the pass. Got him across the middle, RG3, pitch and catch. Gets it inside the end zone there for a touchdown. Bo Jackson recovering the kick. Balls on it, and he's brought oh, Hold on to the ball there. Did find out that Bo Jackson, he's got a special item, Bo Jackson, on the cap there that's able to kick off uh, for some of these guys there. So we want to make sure that we clear that up there uh, with Bo Jackson that was kicking off in one of those last semifinal games there. First and ten for IB strafing. Do you come out, do you start slinging this thing, or you get back to doing what you do, which is, start running the ball, and it's going to set up and open up your pass. Because Howard had a field day last game. What you need to do here if you're strafing is keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> you have to get seven on this drive by run, pass, fumble recovery, take it in, <laughs> get temperature, whatever you need to do on offense to get in the end zone right now, you're going to have to do because you don't want to fall behind to this young well, He's back in that gun bunch, so maybe he's Listening to it. Oh, he's got him across the middle. And that is that Paul Krause, the offensive version there. So you'll see a little bit of that Paul Krause on offense. And also he's got Bo Jackson uh, playing tight end as well if he wants to use him. First and 10 for strafing with the completion there. Around the 41-yard line. Sean Watson back in that gun bunch. So funny because I was talking to strafing. We were talking about gun bunch. It's like, oh, I hate it. Everybody uses it. But he's killing it right now. Getting the ball over to Paul Krause, and that's another dot on that corner route. And he's in business in Went Goat's territory. Rico? And you, Deshaun Watson is getting outside, allowing him to throw all those routes, buying him that extra time. Great pickup. You got to love that speed with that right-handed quarterback that fits his game plan. So you look at the cap. He spent a good majority of it on defense. That second year with Houston, Clinton Ha Ha Dix, Richard Sherman, and also Josh Norman should be able to hold that. But if you're going to give them all that time back there, even guys that are pro bowlers and all pros on defense in that secondary can give up some big plays. It's hard to stick to those guys, you know, for four, five, six, seven seconds. Second down and five after a five-yard gain by Howard for IB strafing. Back into the gun. Second down and five. Sean Watson. Great rookie year this year before he tore up his knee in practice. And he's got Julio Jones coming across on the right-hand side on that out route there. A little dead coming across the right-hand side. He picks up about eight there. That is a first down. It'll be first down and ten for IB strafing 
at the 12 yard line. So here we go, go. on the seesaw. Went Goat got some. Now Strafen trying to get some. First down and 10 for Strafen. Hands it off to Howard. Can't break the tackle there. Gain of about one. Call it no yards. Give him one year. One there, about a half a yard gain. Second down and nine. These two upcoming downs are going to be very important because Ivy Strafen's not going to want to leave points on the board. So he's going to take three getting down here. He needs to be able to get six in these next two plays or else that half a stop could come back to harm him. Strafen in the gun bunch. Got Watson back to throw. Had B. He had B, but he can take it off of the middle. Be careful. Good job of him getting down. He remembered fumbling on the uh, out of bounds, uh, the boundary last time on the right-hand side. It looks like somebody talked to him. He wanted to throw that high point pass, but instead he didn't. Tucked it and ran with Deshaun. He had him, though. He didn't have to high point it. He actually had him. A normal throw would have been right there. I think he had him by a couple of steps there, but he chose not to throw that ball and, and maybe run into some danger there and he takes off with Watson and gets inside of the five yard line at the two first and goal from the two for Ivy Strafen hands it off to Bo Jackson oh he's taken down no oh, give him a half a yard there will be second down and one <laughs> oh Strafen with the Lulu lemons this is no laughing matter right here. He's going to need to get in this end zone. He got to the outside. Can he? Oh, can oh. he break him down? Oh, a great shoestring tackle there by Marshall, the linebacker. Third and goal. Huge play here. And that's why you have to watch that pitch. It turned first and goal from the one. In the, sorry, second and goal from the one and the third and goal from the six. Absolutely. Now you have to make a really important decision right here because there are no more first downs. And now that might have been a four-point loss on that play call. Third and goal here for I.B. Strafing back in the gun bunch. That pistol, excuse me, there with Howard behind the quarterback. Pistol gun bunch. Deshaun Watson back to pass. And he's got Jackson. Did not get in. It'll be fourth and inches from the goal line from inside the one. Tough call here. What do you do, Rico? Here's what you don't do. You don't <laughs> run that toss again. You can't take that chance. Right here, I don't know if you got Bo Jackson, the fullback. Look for the fullback dive. Looks like he's got an awful oh, no. there. He's got an easy pitch there, and he walks his into the end zone. And there, <laughs> Great call there by Ivy Strafe. It's a great call because it worked. <laughs> Every call <laughs> that works is always a great call. Well, I, I think he audible there. You saw, and he saw the lineman all bunched up. The box was kind of tight. So he, I, did, I think he did a good job of going to the outside there. It was open there. PAT is up, and it is good there. Ten plays, 82 yards on that scoring drive there. Ivy Strafing on fourth and goal from inside the one-yard line. He gets Howard into the end zone, and we are brand new, knotted up, even Steven, 7-7 seven, seven live here from all of America for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship here in Bloomington, Minnesota. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams. Rico is hilarious here for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship, and we're going to have a nice little treat for you guys. You just saw the, the Vikings mascot. You saw the beautiful Vikings cheerleaders as well in the halftime show will be the skull line they're going to be performing here in the next five minutes and 42 seconds as we start to wrap up here the first quarter 7-7 seven, seven ball game for the second time went goat with the ball he's looking oh and he's got a receiver and it's caught that is a tough Man. way to make a living boy you gotta be while, careful there while it he is caught. that pass that was able to be completed you do not want to rely for the next three quarters and 28 27 26 seconds on plays like that to get you to Orlando. Went Goat once again proving that he can throw the rock. It was a ruse telling us, oh, watch out coming from the outside and he's brought down by Jadeveon Clowney. Loss of eight there on the sack. Second down and 18. He came screaming off that right edge off the defensive side there. Probably going to go ahead and take this into the second quarter. Absolutely. Now with this second quarter coming up, Sec facing second and 18. Win Goat has to maintain his focus. He has to maintain his discipline. He cannot allow this game to get away from him. He's fought too hard right here. And as you've seen, Mama's still trying to get to Disney World. <laughs> Mama, I made it. P.O.P. <laughs> second down and 18. First play of the second quarter here for Went Goat. Had a lead 7 0. I.B. Strafing just scored on fourth and goal from inside the one. Harris Went Goat on the right hand side. I'd be strafing on the left hand side. And once again, Went Goat going to his tight end and he's completed it to Walker. Gain of about four. Delaney Walker, the Titan, 
How about the Titans? My hometown, Nashville, Tennessee, stand up. The Titans in the playoffs today in Kansas City can smell the barbecue down there. In KC, third and 14. The playoffs are underway today, but here's the playoff right here. And oh, what a dot and a completion there. And it is caught. Huge gain for Went Goat. Moves the sticks, first down and 10, and he's inside the 35, or right at the 35-yard line, Rico. That was a phenomenal read, and again, Ivy Strafen gave him way too much time to make all those. Oh, and just Bo. like that, Bo knows how to get into that secondary. Bo knows Lulu's <laughs> first down and 10. Oh, man, oh, I'll tell you. Um, I'm sorry, I got to go back to the Lulu's. It is a women's athletic brand, though, right? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? No, that's that's what I know them as. The only other people I've ever heard talk about that have been models. Okay, yeah, all right. What are you doing running in circles with models? <laughs> when, when you host some of the great events that I do, that's just the kind of stuff that happens. But speaking of the stuff that happens, Win Goat needs six to happen here. He cannot afford to take three. And just like that, easy money right there on the left-hand side. Bo Jackson gets in. And back on the teeter-totter, the young man from right outside of Minneapolis in New Brighton, Minnesota, up by six points with that touchdown run by Bo Jackson. PAT up, and it is good. And right now, we got a little upset special going right now. We know it would be a good game with this Mag 18 Vikings Championship presented by Hyundai, the official partner of the Minnesota Vikings and the National Football League. Bo Jackson with the kickoff return there. Boy, he's so hard to bring down. Gets it to about the 30-yard line. Ivy Strafing will have the rock. 335 remaining before halftime. Once again, the Skull Line is here. We'll be performing live here inside of Mall of America and also live on Vikings.com and Twitch.tv slash Madden. Larry the Rico Williams. Rico, it's time for Ivy Strafing to stand up. Yes, he's, he needs to stand up and he needs to stand up right now. If you would have asked him, I don't think you would have expected to be going back and forth like this. Uh oh Howard running hard. Joey Bosa breaks another tackle. He's got some space. Can he get it done? 20, 10, 5, touchdown Howard. And just like that, the second time today, I.B. Strafing gets into the end zone on the very first play. And he evens it up. 13 to well, I'm about to even it up anyway. 14-13, pinning the extra point. How about Howard out of nowhere? Been a beast today for IB strafing the offense. Not a lot of money spent on offense, but he felt pretty good about it. He felt good about his schemes, and right now it is coming to fruition, and we are tied 14 all live here inside of the Mall of America. Gotta love Howard. Yeah, it's gonna this looks like it might come down to whoever gets the first stop is gonna win this game. These guys have not been able to even slow each other down. You were thinking it might be a 10-6 final. <laughs> I know, right? It's 14-14. It's, it's still never three like minutes. that, though. Anytime you think it's two defensive teams, it's always a shootout. That's what, And we have a great one here at the mall. First down and 10. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replay right here. Look at Howard. Broke one, two, three, four. Five tackles on his way, and then he's just got clear spaces there. Mama, there goes that man again. Another house call for Howard. What a day. RG3 takes off first and 10. Get down. Don't want to leave that ball on the ground. And that's where you see he still has a little bit more seasoning to get done. He still needs a little bit more polishing. You can't take those type of hits with your quarterback and expect to walk away the winner of this game. As you saw, Deshaun Watson fumbled for Ivy Strafe in last game and almost came back and caught him. You don't want to be the one to lose on that way for winner go. So... Let's make sure you get down next time. Lulu Lemons for all of my yogis out there. I do the hot yo yoga myself. Got to give a shout out to all the ladies in the audience out there rocking the Lulu Lemons and the yoga. Namaste to all of you. <laughs> Sorry. Third down and six for Went Goat. Bo Jackson offset to the right hand side. Hands it off to him. He's got a hole up the middle. Oh, great game there of about, about about eight or nine yards on that play there. First down and ten. Now, if you're Wintgoat, you might want to slow this thing down. You don't want to give another opportunity for Ivy Strafing. This is where having some game control can really come in handy here and making sure that you keep him off the sideline. Off he the needs field. to manage this clock and do it in the right way. But 
He cannot allow that to take him off course of getting seven here. If he needs to hold serve. There is a completion once again. Boy, is that, is that Delaney Walker? He was fighting. Man, that was not. It was the old Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, with the catch there. Two-minute warning here, live at the Mall of America. Tied at 14. Went go with the rock. Hands it off to Bo Jackson. Gain of no yards there. Second, now loss of two, actually. Second down and 12. Ivy strafing in that 3-4 odd defense there. Once again, we're going to have the Skull Line performing live here on the stage. Here live at the Mall of America, and the folks are coming out today. Nice weather outside. It's negative 15 degrees, so everyone's inside here watching the Madden 18 Vikings Championship, third and 11 for Wintgo. And this is going to be a crucial play right here. Ivy Strafen needs to get off the field, see if he can get this stop and score and take over the momentum of this game. Wintgo needs to make sure he gets this first down, keep the momentum going, and score. Third down and 11 for Wintgo. Buck 35 left here in the first half. Has the ball. Gun bunch. RG3 back in the gun. Got his two. Oh, got him right down the middle. Was he able to hold on? Yes, he was. I thought Paul Krause might have knocked it down, but he held on to it. Another conversion for Wintgo. Moves it inside the 30-yard line. 114 left. Tick, 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 tick. Gun bunch. Bo Jackson offset to the left-hand side. He's been doing a great job fighting his tight end, Walker and Malone. Down the seams there all day long and some dig routes as well. Uh, converting and completing those passes in motion. RG3, once again, he's got the corner route. Oh, beautifully thrown and complete to Chad Johnson there. How about RG3? Seven of eight passing, a buck 17 through the air and one touchdown. The young man playing it straight, playing it well, too. I'll be strafing down to one timeout. <laughs> Did you see the look on the youngster's face? He was just like, hmm. Stoic. Which one of these amazing plays should I pull out my arsenal? Another hard-charging Bo Jackson truck ability into the end zone. Another touchdown, and we see Saul back into the lead with Wintgo up 21-14, pinning the PAT up and good. 46 seconds, 46 seconds remaining. And Wintgoat has the lead here live inside of the Mall of America. How about that young man? Now, here's where you need to be careful if you're Ivy Strafen. You can't afford to try to do a little bit too much here in these last 46 seconds. Oh, bad kick. Yeah. Going to have it around Game the 30, right? Field, 44. Yeah. 44? Yep. Holy cow. Well, so, Strafen's going to get into that gun bunch, and we'll see what he can do. Yeah, but he's going to need to make sure he makes solid reads. Don't force anything because you can't afford to turn this ball over or give up any more points before this half. First down and 10. Sean Watson taking off, and he's going to do the smart play there. Get out of bounds. Remember the last game that got to the boundary in that sideline. He laid it down on the ground and had a fumble there. Don't want to have that reoccur. Second down and two for Abby Strafing, the defending Vikings champion, down to the upstart. The young man, 18-year-old from Brighton, Minnesota. Went go up 21 14. Straight from go got the ball and he's moving. Second down and two. About 30 seconds remaining. Got to get rid of it and he does. Great defense. He took away everything he sure wanted did. to do. He even tried the playmaker. Wasn't able to get it done. Yep. Got some pressure on Watson there and he had good coverage behind it. So good job there. You can see the defending Madden 17. Vikings champion IB Strafen down 21 to 14. Third down and two here. Critical call here on third and two got a spot watch that one and it's picked off and he's heading back the other way can he break the tackle no he's brought down by Bo Jackson how about Wentko bowing his neck on defense comes up with the turnover and he still has 24 seconds look at him come up on that play from his safety position and picks it off and that was exactly what I was telling you Ivy Strafen wanted to avoid because now you're in jeopardy of giving up all well, as long as he can try to yeah, hold Yeah, but don't go conservative. Seconds. Don't do it. But you can't force it either nah. because now you see he was already in great position to get three, maybe seven. I don't like this. If you went, go, you're leaving points out there. It can come back to bite you, man. Oh, my. Uh, I, 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 mm, I don't like this, Rico. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like it, buddy. 
He just got 24 stop. seconds left. You're near midfield. Go for it. Get something. He just got to stop. He just watched Ivy Strafe and overreach. Turn the ball over. Overreach. And, and kill himself on that. Now, you don't want to put yourself in that same position. He's sitting back. He's saying, if the second half goes like the first half, I walk away with a trip to Orlando for my family. I'm going to do a little mind reading right here. I think he's thinking, you know what, Larry's right. I had 24 seconds left out of touchdown lead. I can maybe add another field goal, two-score game. No, he was sitting there thinking, what am I going to have for lunch after I win? <laughs> so you're going to get inside this 18-year-old's mind. That's exactly what he was thinking. He was like, hey, I'm up the first half. If I play like this again, I'm going to Disney World, bringing my mom. I'm hungry. That's what he was thinking. <laughs> he was not thinking about anything he left with. Mama, I made it. P.O.P. <laughs> we here. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams here, live here inside of the Mall of America. You're watching live here on Vikings.com and Twitch.tv slash Madden for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship. And right now we have a barn burner. The young man went goat. Upset special so far. He has a lead at halftime. Up 21-14 over the defending Vikings champion, I.B. Strafing. And what did he do well in that first half that you like? We're speaking about Wintko. He did everything well. Every time he had the ball on offense, he scored. He scored seven. He felt him out on defense for those first two drives. Had a couple chances to get off the field, but really stopped. Made his adjustments. And he got his pick to stop it. If he plays another half, just like he did, <laughs> he's going to walk away the winner. I.B. Strafing, what do you do if you're I.B. Strafing? What? You, you, have to, you have to take what the defense gives you. Do not allow them to force you outside of your game. You have so many plays. Go to them. Right. Use them. Right. right. Do you want to see him throw it a little bit more or, or keep it on the ground with Howard? I'd like to see him take what the defense gives him. Make sure you don't force it because we saw with that turnover. But you know what I really want to see? I want to see this goal line. <laughs> they are here and... We're going to take those guys right now here live inside of all of America, the Skull Line, and also the Vikings cheerleaders and the mascots standing by right now. Take a listen. Vikings fans for the skull line there. Man, they get they get they get the thing rocking, man. Hey, we were like here, I was back in an HBCU oh. game or something. <laughs> what what is that, man? The Reebok. That is, that is the Reebok. That is, that is true. Yes. Okay, got and it. And we I were jamming it. over here. We we're having a great time. <laughs> but you know who's really having a great time is Went Goat. He's still over there smiling. He's ready. Yes. He's sitting back. Whereas you can look at Ivy Strafe and you can see him he's a little fidget in his chair. Like he's ready. He's anxious. He wants to get back on that field and try to avenge that first half. I'll tell you what, if you're Ivy Strafe and you gotta you gotta you gotta get on those Lululemons and you gotta get in your down dog. And you gotta get back into this ball game. That's what you gotta do if you're Ivy Strafe. There he is. Look has the lead. Went go. Went go. He's just sitting there thinking like pizza. <laughs> burgers. <laughs> and he's look at that hat. That hat and that hoodie, he's freezing. He mm. needs to get to Orlando. Ivy Strafing is cold indoors. He needs to get to Orlando. And the first way he's going to get there <laughs> is he needs to figure out how to stop Winco's offense. He's the given up a touchdown every single time he's been on defense. Hey, he's Ivy, not strafing at all. Uh, <laughs> Ivy Strafing, once you get to Orlando, trust me, I've got a place. It's called Orlando Power Yoga. Those Lululemons would go good there and get some of that hot yoga. I'm telling you, man, it is awesome. It gets like 110 degrees in there. Orlando Power Yoga, man, when you get down to Orlando, if you're able to come back and win this with those Lululemons. Here we are, first and 10. 
We pick it up here in the third quarter, second half action. Ivy strafing down a touchdown. He does have the ball here. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams live here from all of America in Bloomington, Minnesota, outside of Minneapolis for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship. It is presented by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Minnesota Vikings and also CenturyLink, trusted technology partner of the Minnesota Vikings. And can't forget Hyundai, the official partner of the Minnesota Vikings and the National Football League. Second down and seven. Watson hands it off to Howard. Howard more tough running. Get off me. Falls forward for another five or six yards. That's a gain of about 16. First down and 10 for strafing. He goes over 100 yards rushing on the day. Howard running strong, Rico. Strafing is not out of this game. All he needs to do is go ahead, get this seven here, lock in, get his stop, and he's back in control of this football game. First down and 10 for I.B. Strafing. Back in the gun bunch there. Motion back to the strong side. Got Howard off on the left side. Off, offset. Runs to the right. Taken down there. Still a good day rushing the ball. Almost 11 yards a pop for Howard. Eight carries. 87 yards on the day. A couple of touchdowns as well for strafing. Second down and nine. Going to get into the side. Gun tight, I believe, for... There it is for strafing. Second down and nine. Watson all along back in the gun. Watch out coming, bearing down on him, and he's taken down. Does that mean Joe Green? I think it is with the sack there for Went Goat. Timely plays for this young man every Absolutely. time he now, gets a play when he needs it. This third and 17, Ivy Strafe needs to realize he has two downs to pick that up. He doesn't need it all back right here in one shot. Oh, he's got a receiver. Paul Kraus, does he get the first down? He does. First and 10, he picks That's up 18. That's a huge pickup right there. He did 17, got 18. Absolutely correct, Rico. First down and 10 for Strafen. Around the 35-yard line, he's moving. Watson going to take off, and he's got Jones. Julio inside the five, and he's brought down there around the three. And it is complete first and goal for Ivy Strafen. As you can see now, Ivy Strafen looks like he's focused. He's locked in. He's clicking on all cylinders. Needs to be smart here. Three yards. Go ahead and punch this in. Get your touchdown. And then lock on on defense. First and goal for I.B. Strafing. Got Howard in the I formation. Going to dot that high. That I there. Bo Jackson as a fullback. That's what he is. Oh, every time he gets down here, Howard waltzes into the end zone. That I, that toss there, a great play for I.B. Strafing. And he's back in it right there. You can see the breakdown there. He's run the ball 60% of the time. That's his game plan. A PAT away from tying it up. It's up right down Broadway, and it is good. And we are brand new, tied at 21. Back on the seesaw, Ivy Strafing tying up the ball game at 21, Rico. And you can see he's getting his bounce back. You can see he's over there singing along with whatever's in his headset right now. He's starting to get that momentum back. He's getting his swag back. This defensive drive right here is going to be everything for him. He cannot allow Winville to march down and put up another seven. Dripping swag goo right now for Ivy Strafing. Tied at 21. Now the first possession for the youngster. 18-year-old from New Brighton, Minnesota. Nick Anderson, a.k.a. Went Goat. Was here in the crowd last year. Now he's on the stage. First and 10, and he's got him. Oh, on the corner route, and he's wide open. Brought down by Delaney Walker. RG3, 8 of 9 passing. Almost 200 yards through the air. I mean, this is rookie of the year 2012 RG3. Pre-injury RG3 looking real good here. Madden 18. Bo Jackson, first down run. Give him a couple there. Second down and 8 for Went Goat. Win Goat now is the first time he's really feeling pressure, if he can feel pressure, because he still hasn't blinked in two games. But he needs to continue to move this ball down the field. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the moment at all. Second down and eight for Win Goat. RG3 in the gun. Bo Jackson back in the Well, it's got pressure. Gets it. Oh, boy. Paul Krause laying the lumber there, as we used to say. He's seeing snot bubbles. He got knocked out right there. Good job there on defense by I.B. Strafing. Sitting down in his zone spot, man. You have your quarterback. You can't throw that. Third and eight right here. You can watch I.B. Strafing. He needs to get off the field here. 
Take a look at his face after this play. Third down and eight. Got Bo Jackson on the left-hand side, and he picks up about nine or ten. That'll be a first down for Went Goat with the tie ball game at 21. Live here at the Minnesota Vikings. Mag 18 championship here inside of the Mall of America. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams in the championship game, third quarter. He's going deep. He's got a step on him. Oh, just overshot him there. Paul Richardson had about two steps. RG3 just his second in completion of the ball game. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And right there, Ivy Strafen got lucky. Didn't get that stop on third down. Looked a little defeated. Blinked for a second. Almost got beat up top. But was able to get that overthrow that keeps him in this game. Ryan Danzig, a.k.a. IB Strafing. He told me before the game, offense not very good. Defensively, I've got to get stops. he got to get another stop now because that's a completion to Paul Richardson. I was just talking about it. He says, look, I make up for it on defense. I get my stops. I'm really good with my user. So far, not a great championship game so far for Ryan dancing. There's Bo Jackson off the left-hand side. He does not get in. Inside the five there to about the two-yard line. It'll be second and goal for the 18-year-old. Went Goat driving along here. Late stages of the third quarter. Tied at 21 here. If, I'd be strafing Boa's neck, Rico. If strafing doesn't get a stop here. Oh, he ran into his neck still. Which obviously he's not going to. He's going to have to think about potentially going for two at the end of this and trying to manage the clock wow. so he gets the last score because he's not even able to slow down Winko at all right now in offense. If you look at it, Winko's had the ball four times besides the 20 seconds left at the end of the half, and he scored all four, four times. touchdowns. That's true. And it's not even like he had a couple of long third He did downs. have that one possession in the end of the first half, but that didn't count. Yeah. He sat on the ball. So right now, right here, strafing. You need to make sure you get the ball last right now. It's setting up that way. Oh, oh, he's breaking tackles. Kondo there. Down to around the 40, 45 yard line. They call it the 46 there. As we're brought to you here by CenturyLink, the Madden 18 Vikings Championship, the trusted technology partner of the Minnesota Vikings. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams here live here on Vikings.com, twitch.tv slash Madden for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship live inside of a festa, a very warm and active ball of America here and he throws it away there for Deshaun Watson IB strafing down a touchdown about five minutes and 40 seconds left to try to pull this thing out we know strafing likes to use a lot of his playbook I don't know why he's continuing to run the same play it looks like Wincote is all over he's taking away all those reads even with Deshaun getting outside he's gonna have to make a decision whether he wants to just take three or four yards I like it though the RPO oh and he threw it Oh, that was a bad read there. Josh Norman with the pick for Went Goat. Oh, pressure burst pipes, Rico Williams. We were talking quiet, about man. it. The oh. times that he has lost, it has been turnovers, mistakes at inopportune times, critical junctures of the game. And he's got Chad what? Johnson deep. What, what? about the 18-year-old? Went Goat wants to be Spring Goat. <laughs> what do you do when you see a man drowning? You throw water on him. Mm -mm -mm. And that's exactly what Went Goat just did. I, I, I'm stunned. Talking to this kid, I'm like, okay, he's just an 18-year-old kid. He doesn't know any better. Mom is here. He's just happy to be here. No, he'll be happy to represent the Minnesota Vikings and claim a championship. 35-21 as we get to the latter stages of the third quarter. We have an upset brewing. Get on Vikings.com, folks. Twitch.tv slash Madden. Live here in the Mall of America. The 18-year-old, the upstart, went goat with a 14-point lead over the defending Vikings champion. At some point, Ivy Shave is going to have to realize he can't keep pressing like that. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're continuing to get beat with the same thing. He needs to score here quickly. That was quick there. A toe drag swag there. A good catch there. First down and 10. Strafing. Just hit Julio Jones there. It reminded me of that Super Bowl catch that he had, except he was falling the opposite way. Over the middle. He's got him. Jones. And he is in the end zone just like that. Don't count out Ivy Strafing when you got Julio Jones, who probably is the best receiver in that. 
Yeah, I, I, I thought I had to agree with you there. My only thing is, do you notice once he stopped rolling outside that pocket and he stayed there, he was able to get different reads because he threw went go completely off. Even though it's the same thing, he took his time. He was able to find that look. He needs the point to get off the field here. Wink Goat is 5-4-5 five for five when he's had a full drive. Right. You got to come up with something different, and you can't press here. If you do, you're just itching to stay here in this cold area and not get to Orlando. Ivy Strafing was telling me, he's like, Larry, I'm heavy on defense. That's my bread and butter offensively. All I have is Deshaun Watson and Julio. I've got Paul Krause playing offense. I've got Bo Jackson playing offense. I'll get in my gun tight. I'll create some opportunities. But on defense, that's where he was supposed to make his hay. He says, I feel like I can get stops on defense when I need to, Larry. That's going to make up for it right there, and I'll be able to use my user. That's how I'm going to get off the field and pull it out. Right now, he's down 35-28. Went GOAT 5-for-5 five five on his five true drives. Didn't count that last one in the first half when he sat on it. Went GOAT, got a receiver, and hit Chad Johnson and Robert Griffin III. Very economical, 11-14. of 14. Over 100 yards passing. A touchdown as well. Aaron, Aaron, uh, Anthony Barr with the tackle for strafing. But once again, he moves the sticks as we're in the fourth quarter. Tick, 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 tick. Your boy, you're right. He has to get a stop here. That's the game I'm looking at. Jag City over there. And the rest of the strafing gang looking intently watching this game. Their guy down by a touchdown, 35-28. First and 10 for Went Goat. He's got four verticals. He's got to throw it deeper. He's got to throw it away. And he walks. Oh, and he tosses at the bow, but he doesn't hold on. Anthony Barr, a good tackle there. Went goat. If you him, do you keep up the aggressiveness, or do you try to get that ground game going and turn it out? You have Bo Jackson. That's where you need to close that game out and run the ball. But we're sitting here for a reason, and that guy is giving strafing everything he can handle and an extra seven. So who am I to second guess him? But you got the clock is your friend right now. Went go. He's got Bo out there, plenty of space, and I'm telling you, every time he's got an answer for what he's it's, it's like, didn't Tom Brady said, I've got the answer to the test? He's got the answers to the test. Whatever strafing throws at him, he's got something to combat it. He's done a great job today moving the sticks once again. Strafing has to get off the field at some point today. You cannot win this Vikings championship if you don't get off the field at least once, correct? Absolutely. Now, this is his drive right here. This is the first time in a, on this drive he's been able to hold him on first down. Anthony Barr has to tackle there. get off the field. You don't want to give up three. You're in the prime position right now if you're strafing. If you're going to make a stand, this is it. Went go. Got plenty of time and got another receiver and he gets down there. Gain of 20 there, first and 10. RG3 oh, lighting it up. Got to see that shoe clock. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, he got right down to the red <laughs> numbers right there with the uh, play clock. Good call there. Uh, but we, we should have seen this coming because when he told me I had the Patriots playbook, they're not going to get the Patriots playbook and run the ball. Although he said that's his bread and butter, I should have caught on to that, that this kid, he is going to throw the ball. He just doesn't really want anybody to know it. The tall sweep there. Bo Jackson, great D there. If you're Went Goat, don't play for a field goal. Don't play for a field goal here, right? It if, seems like that's what he's doing here. Rico. If you're Went Goat, don't turn the ball over. Just don't turn the ball over. A third and 13, I don't. I, I think I run the ball here. Just because you don't want to give Strafing a chance. Even though he hasn't been really near it. His passing game's been deadly and lethal today. But lethal. You never ask the Atlanta offensive coordinator if he wishes he would have just ran. Oh, wow. What did I say? It's been deadly and lethal. Wow. Touchdown, Went Goat. Got his tight end wide open there. It should have been a corner route, but he was so wide open. He was right down the seam and then kind of floated towards the corner route. Nobody back. Like I said, his passing attack. I was wondering why is he running the ball because he's so confident in his passing ability. It's been there all game. I think, if I'm not mistaken, RG3, 14 of 18 passing today, about 200 yards, couple of touchdowns. Bo Jackson is a, is, a, uh -oh. is a man to bring down right there. I'd be strafing, not going down without a fight. Two-minute warning, strafing down 14. Now, 
Here's something I'm going to ask the chat, and I'm going to ask you as well. Right now, are we watching Wint Goat become, take that next staff of competitive man? Are we watching him become a household name? Is this the first thing he's going to go down to Orlando? Or have we overrated Ivy Strafing based off last year's Good game? Point. And if Wint Goat gets to Orlando, is he going to get the doors blown off him? Well, I mean, will this be a Joel CP or Drenny situation where you got the young gun, the youth movement, and those guys? Remember, Drenny won our turn to compete forever uh, back in April. Joel CP has been there. He played very well as well. I don't know. When I was talking to Stray Scraping, he did say he didn't know much about a lot of these competitors. And there was a little hesitation when I spoke with him. He says, look, I know I'm the favorite. I don't like the word favorite. He did say that. So he showed a great deal of respect to his competitors here. And I think... Oh, we're back. We're back, and we're live here in all so, of America. We have some of the chats saying that Wind Goat is in the same conversation as Joel and Drini. Joel and agreeing Drini. with you. He's the new kid on the block. And then other people are saying Strafing is overrated. Wow. If you think okay. Strafing is overrated in the chat, put your one up. If you think Wind Goat is just that good, give me a two. One for Strafing not being, for Strafing being overrated. Two for Wind Goat being the GOAT. Good catch there. But look, Strafen was talking about it. And look, it doesn't matter. He said, look, it, I mean, when he was talking about that, he was straight up and he was honest. He looked in the eye. doesn't matter about being the favorite. He's not into being the favorite. doesn't like the word favorite. A great deal of respect shown to these competitors here. And you can sense, like, look, anybody can be beaten on any given day. He didn't know anything about these guys. And there's the pick, and that's going to end it right there. Wow. We're, we're going to have an upset here with the Minnesota Vikings. Now, now it's going to be that, man. Here's the Wind question goat. I have for you. Mm -hmm. Is Wind Goat going to go just go ahead and deal this out? Or is, or is he going to try to 21 streak <laughs> just because? Well, Strafing, he also told me, look, and, look, I wasn't the favorite last year, but look, anybody can be beat. And he says he wasn't the best oh, last gosh. year. <laughs> what, is about to be? what is he doing? He was, you know, he was showing off. <laughs> oh. I, he was one spin away from getting, getting back with it. Oh, man. He, man. Don't show, way, don't, don't show out on At 18 years old, to be able to say, Mama, I'm taking you to Disney World. I know, right? That has to be a great feeling right now. Well, we got to get a shot of Mama Went Goat. She's around here somewhere. Absolutely. Third down and five for Went Goat, up by 14. 104 left. Uh -oh. A minute away from pulling off this. Oh, be careful there, coming off the left-hand side. Holmes with the sack, fourth and 13. You gotta pump this thing, absolutely. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that Wind Goat hasn't smiled, hasn't blinked, hasn't shown any emotion at all. Not a good punt there either. There's Bo running around, able to get him down inside the 40. So still some time for Ivy strafing down 42 to 28, 50 seconds left. You can get into the end zone and Possibly get an onside kick. Can you can you imagine the feeling? You're an 18-year-old kid. You've grown up loving the Minnesota Vikings. It's your favorite football team. And now you're going to get a chance to go to the Bowl Bowl and represent them the same year that they're making a Super, Super Bowl, Bowl run, run in their own city. You have the chance to come back to your home city and represent Minnesota. I know. I know. That has to be a great feeling. That's a proud mama, right. a proud daddy right there. Right. Think about it, four weeks away from Super Bowl 52. He can go down to Orlando the week before the Super Bowl in the Pro Bowl, do well, take Mama to Disney World, and then come back here and possibly watch the Vikings become the first team ever to host the Super Bowl and play in it, and possibly even win the Dagon Super Bowl. Oh, and it's caught by Bo Jackson. Great job of holding on to it. There are great throws as well from Watson, first and goal. Tick, 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 tick. I'd like to see him get in here just to see the all Yeah, make it, make it interesting, absolutely. He's got to snap the ball at some point. Oh, boy. He did not get into the end zone. Oh, he yes. gave it to and him. Went and he rolled right over way. him, so he did get into the end zone. Going to have six seconds left. It is not over. 42 to 35. Did, Strafing down by a touchdown. By the way, 
Did you say something about 10-6? <laughs> it never turns out that way. It's like offensive, two offensive juggernauts. Here we go. 13-7 game. And it's picked up and recovered. Get down. Recovered by Went Goat. And he'll just have to kneel on it one time, and that will be it. And that will be it. They're going to shake hands now, and there it is. The great sportsmanship. Went Goat, give it up for him. An upset here in Mall of America. He is the Madden 18 Vikings champion, Nick Anderson, a.k.a. Whitcoat, 18 years of age from New Brighton, Minnesota, will represent the Minnesota Vikings at the end of January at the Pro Bowl down in Orlando. One of 31 other teams that will be there as well. Whitcoat pulls out the upset, 42-35, the final. Scored on every possession except two, the one ending the first half and his last one there. In the, well, I guess three because they had one kneel down too. But you take away those kneel down, scored every time he needed to. Literally, he played a perfect final game. Yeah, you can't ask more of the kid. He needed to be perfect here. too. Needed yeah. to be perfect. And, and I don't even want to take away from this moment right now. You can see he's on stage right now. He has he's a Vikings fan. Look at he's him. next to the voice <laughs> and the face of the Vikings. Oh, shy. Next, next to the cheerleader. Dude, you got the Vikings mascot. Make some, like, he's still not smiling. What? The camera's on <laughs> us right now. It shouldn't be. It should be on him. You guys need to see oh, the fact man. that this kid is going to have a moment of his life right now, and he still has a smile. Look at it's him. all business right here, <laughs> right now. Let's go to the stage. Look you at these see. pictures. Go to the stage now. Take a look at Wet Goat. And uh, he's on the stage, and he's standing by. Paul Allen, take it away. All right. Um, well, you know, I'm going to ask you, where do you go from here? I mean, you're 18 years of age. Clearly, you're very good at playing this game. You just bumped. I'd be strafing who won this thing last year, man. I was with him last year, but I guess I know where you go from here. It's to Orlando to represent the Minnesota Vikings. Can I get a round of applause for Went Goat and um, hopefully a championship, right? You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. We'll see. What uh, did you think of your game today, the competition and everything, man? You scored a lot of points in that game. Yeah, competition was hard, but, like, uh, I didn't – I was just running whatever on defense. I haven't played Madden in a few weeks, so – I, was, so, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, well now with a trip to Orlando with Mickey Mouse and Tinkerbell and Cinderella and, and everybody down there, you got to take that seriously, man. you got to break down film of the competition and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, probably time to get back on Madden. So, <laughs> Hey, give him a round of applause. That was a lot of fun today. His name is Nick Anderson, and he's from New Brighton. Now, uh, let's go through uh, what has transpired today. Uh, Went Goat gets a trip to represent the Vikings in the Madden Club Championship during Pro Bowl weekend, as well as a boost box provided by CenturyLink that includes a signed jersey by Stefan Diggs. Can I get a witness? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us with the Madden 18 Vikings Championship. And um, go Vikings a week from tomorrow, right? Playing whoever we play. Let's uh, let, let's go from the Madden Pro Bowl to the Vikings in the Skull Bowl. That'd be really cool. Appreciate you. All right, good stuff there for Paul Allen, the voice of the Minnesota Vikings. And there he is, the young champion, 18 years of age. Couldn't play last year because he wasn't old enough, but they moved the age requirement down to 16 this year. Man, the youth movement.